Hey cosplayers, super excited about this video we have for you today. Have you ever had the problem where you get a pattern, uh, you bought it from somebody, or you just uh, picked one up from somebody for free, and uh, you're having a really hard time knowing how to scale that pattern to be able to fit you. And uh, you don't wanna do all the math, uh, you, <laughs> you don't know how to do all the proportions things, scale it, how to figure out what percentage do I scale it down to, how do I scale that down? Uh, if you've had this problem, you're in luck because in today's video, we're gonna show you a foolproof way, or at least an easy way, to be able to scale uh, an existing pattern to fit you with no math. So if you're excited about this video, make sure to comment in the comments below right now with the words, no math. And uh, with that, um, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and uh, so you get notified of all these quick tip clips as they come out, so you can stay on top of your game and cosplay like a boss. With that, we're gonna head on over here to the computer, do something a little bit different today. I won't be in front of the camera the whole time. We're actually gonna head over, I'm gonna screen share and show you a really cool tool that we've put together to be able to make this possible for you and make it super easy. All right, let's head on over. All right, cosplayers, we're over here at the computer now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna show you uh, what we've created for you to be able to help with this. And I think uh, that you'll really like this. I hope this will be helpful. So on our website now, we've created a new tab for you guys called Cosplay Calculators. And we'll add to this as we come up with uh, other things that we can do to help you guys eliminate the uh, scary math problems that uh, can come from proportions and patterning and all kinds of things like that. But right here, you go to Cosplay Calculators and Pattern Scaling. Uh, you click on that, that's gonna t pull up this awesome calculator here, the pattern scaling calculator. Now it's got some instructions here. I'm gonna give them to you just uh, uh, here in the video and we'll actually place this video once we have it done right here on this page so you can remind you how to go through this if you ever have a question again, if the instructions don't quite make sense. So basically, uh, the scenario is we talked about you just got a pattern from somebody, whether you purchased it or you got it for free and you're trying to figure out when you print it out how big or small, how much bigger, how much smaller do you need to make it to fit you, right? And uh, you don't wanna have to try to figure out the math, you don't wanna print it out multiple times and go by trial and error, that's just gonna be a waste of your time. So what we've done is set up this pattern scaling calculator. What you need to do, and usually you can do this pretty easily, whoever created the pattern, if you can reach out to them or usually they'll have it included, especially if you purchased it, they'll tell you uh, usually in the description somewhere what size uh, some of the measurements are that this pattern was created for. So let's say it's a helmet, for example, and they say, hey, this was created for me, which is like a 23 inch or a 22 inch circumference head, um, right? and kind of get at least just one measurement from them. If it's a chest plate or something like that, or you know a bicep piece or whatever it might be, just get that one circumference measurement. Um, like if it's a chest plate, what's the, the chest measurement? Um, helmet, what's the head circumference, right? You get that measurement from them. Usually if you just got it from them for free or if you've purchased it, you just reach out and say, hey, can you just tell me what was the what is your head size or what is this that you created this pattern to fit? And then, um, then all you other need, all you need is one more input. You just need to measure that same uh, input on yourself. So if it was a helmet, for example, then you just need to measure your head circumference uh, with just you know your soft tape measure or whatever you might have, and uh, see what your measurement is. Then all you need to do. So let's say in this scenario we're talking about it's a helmet, and it was made for somebody with a 22 inch circumference head. Let's say that you're you've got like a huge head or something, I don't know what that would end up being, but let's say it's like crazy, uh, um, a, a lot higher, 30 inches or something like that, right? Then all you do is put in the two measurements, hit go, and voila, it tells you, you need to scale that when you go to print it at uh, 136%. Okay, so when you go to print it, you just scale that up to 136%. And when it prints out, that should now make uh, you know all those things proportionally larger, so that that circumference now is going to fit your head head size. Um, so same thing. Let's say it's um, you know a forty inch measurement, uh, forty inch chest measurement, and you're like, oh well, I'm uh, a lot slimmer than that, and it's uh, you know thirty five or thirty two or something. I don't know. I'm just throwing out measurements. I don't know what are like realistic measurements for people. <laughs> and in that case, it's scaling it down, right? So it says, oh, you have to go down to 80% scale because uh, this was built for somebody bigger and yours will be a little bit smaller. Put that scale at 80% when you go to print 
and that'll work for you. So let me just show you an example here uh, real quick in um, you know, when you go to print that essentially, right? So we've got the, uh, let's just close this one. And let's say you've got uh, my uh, hiccup chest plate um, pattern here, right? So you go to print and let's use those numbers we just did, right? So you go to print and you're like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do? How do I get this to fit me and know that it's gonna work? And so you hop on over to our website here, cosplayprentice.com and go to cosplay calculators, pattern scaling. You say, okay, I know that this was created for a 40 inch chest and I'm at 32, so I need to put this at 80% scale, right? And we might get rid of these uh, extra decimals because I don't think Adobe will take those. Um, but you come here and you go to custom scale. So you've got your printer settings, you got it set up here, you go to custom scale and change this down to 80%, right? And now what that's gonna do is uh, it just shrunk our um, pattern down here. So it used to run to the edge and now it just shrunk it down a little bit here. So, um, you know, that's one thing you'll need to keep track of. You won't have the edge to know just kind of right where, where you were. So just take a ruler and cut, you know, straight along there. Um, where that used to just run into the edge. Um, and then you see that kind of just scaled it all down here for us. And then you're gonna be able to have that work out pretty well for you. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please share it with somebody that you know would help as well. And give that thing, a, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, a thumbs down is fine too. It helps me to be able to know what you guys like, what you don't like, uh, and be able to keep making content for you. Answer the question for us. Uh, what is your single greatest challenge when it comes to patterning? And we can answer your question in a future video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, give this thing a like, share it with your friends, and uh, cosplay on, my friends. Take care. See ya.